Hi everybody, welcome back to another session of Create with Emily. Today we are going to make popsicles. I'm so glad you've decided to join me. This is going to be such a fun craft and it's so simple. So children of any age can do this. They might need a little bit more help than others, but all it takes is um, a little bit of construction paper, some tissue paper, white like liquid glue you could use a craft glue if you wanted you could also use a glue stick for younger children if that is easier um some popsicle sticks which i just grabbed these at the dollar store and some scissors to cut out our popsicle shape and the tissue paper so make sure if you decide to do this with me that you post a comment down below with a picture or if you're jumping on and you want to do this craft as we go along, I'd love for you to comment below and let me know how it's going for you. So this is what we're aiming for. So the first step of our process is to cut out the shape of our popsicle, which we all know there are lots of different shapes, lots of different colors of popsicles. So you can really choose however you would like to do it. I've chosen green and blue paper these are just scraps that i had and it is a thicker cardstock material paper that way it will stand up better and it will withhold the glue so you can either draw on your paper what your shape wants to be maybe you want to make those bomb pops that are stars that are red white and blue for the fourth of july coming up or you can just um, go for it. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut a shape out like this. I thought we'd make one green one and one blue one today. So I'm gonna get everything cut first before I um, start gluing everything together. So it's really not too hard of a cut. I'm just going up and making it tall and then rounding off the top. Just like this and it doesn't have to be perfect we know some popsicles get smushed in the freezer and they end up a little lopsided so if yours is a little lopsided that's totally okay so really it's just I'm gonna show you with my scissors you just go up and then you curve at the top and then go straight back down so it's a pretty simple cut you could also if you're doing this with a big group of people or more than one child you could have these already cut out and ready to go Okay, so look, I have my base for a green popsicle and a blue popsicle. I'm thinking my green one looks a little square at the top. So I'm gonna take my scissors and kind of curve it just a little bit more. Okay, so I just curved it just a little bit more at the top. So I'm gonna put my construction paper to the side and you can see down here my two popsicles. Also, I have laid out, I have already um, cut some of the tissue paper up into pieces, but I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I just took some tissue paper. I have two different colors of blue, an orange or an orangey color and like a reddish orange color. So I just cut off strips of the end of the tissue paper. It really does not take that much at all. And then what I did is you just stack them all up like this and none of the squares have to be perfect. So if they aren't the same size, that's totally okay. So I have them all stacked up like this and then I just cut little strips like this and all four cut at the same time since tissue paper is really thin and you just cut it all into strips. I'm not gonna cut all of it because we won't need it. Um, but then you just do the same thing again and stack them all up on top of each other like this. And then you cut them into little squares. So you cut them into little rectangles first and then you make them smaller. You can kind of see, here I'll hold it up this way so you can see, kind of see we're just cutting it in little squares. And then it almost looks like confetti. Um, this would be a good way to make confetti if you needed an easy way to do that, but I'm just, this orange one was a little bit folded over. So I'm just stacking these on top of each other, just like this. And then we will cut them into little squares. So I'm getting everything cut and prepared first 
That way we can glue all at once and we don't have to worry about our glue drying too fast and running out of squares. Okay, so right here I have all of my tissue paper squares that we're going to use. And you can really choose any design. On this one, I kind of did stripes and then I did like a curve at the top, but if you wanted to do really whatever. I think on the green one, I think I'm going to do, hmm, what do you think? I think I'm gonna do blue all around the edges and then maybe a stripe of red down the middle. So I'm gonna take my glue and you see my popsicle down here laid out and I'm just gonna take my glue and kind of do a zigzag all the way down. I'll show you really fast before I spread it out. So I just did a zigzag all the way down the popsicle, just like this. And then I'm gonna take the top, like the cap, this orange part of the glue, and just spread it out to make it a little thinner and to make it um, go towards the edges. You really don't need a lot of glue. The tissue paper will stick with not very much. It doesn't take much. Sometimes if you put too much glue, it will make the tissue paper kind of like disintegrate and get all mushy. So just be aware of that. So I have my pieces of tissue paper and we are just going to stick them all around the edges. And I'll show you as I go what it looks like. So it's okay if um, the tissue paper sticks off the edge too much. And because at the end, we will go around and trim any pieces that are sticking up. So I'll show you once I get done with the blue, but all I'm doing is taking this darker blue color that I have and putting it all around the edge of the popsicle. And you could also do this with any color um, background. So mine are green and blue, but you could do white, you could do pink, red, really whatever color you wanted. Just know that the tissue paper is not solid. So once it touches the glue, it kind of becomes see-through a little bit. So you'll be able to see the color through the paper, just a little. Well, let's see, one more piece of blue and I'll show you. So all I've done is taken it and put it all the way around the edges. And then I think I'm gonna do red right down the middle. So this one is just gonna be a blue and red popsicle, kind of like the 4th of July that we're getting ready for in a couple of weeks. So I'm just taking this red color and I just keep grabbing the tissue paper from my pile. Since it's already cut, it kind of makes it go a little bit faster. So be sure if you're gonna do this craft that you cut the tissue paper before because my glue is starting to dry a little bit and the tissue paper won't stick if the glue isn't wet. So I'm just sticking these little orangish red ones on right down the middle. Another thing you could add on to these popsicles is a design with some sort of marker or if you wanted to write your name on it. Yesterday I did this with one of the little girls that I babysit during the day and she decided she wanted to draw stars all over hers. So she did the tissue paper and then she added just a big star in the middle. So you could add more designs. So it looks a little wonky around the edges and all we have to do now, since I have, this is all the tissue paper I'm gonna do on this one, I kinda am letting the green stick through because you know sometimes um, popsicles have different fillings on the inside? That's what I'm imagining this little green to be. So you can see on the back of the popsicle that there are tissue paper just like sticking off around the edges. So I'm gonna take my scissors and just go right around the edge and trim all those little pieces off. This just makes it look cleaner and it takes it back to the popsicle shape that we were going for in the beginning. So I'm just going right around the edge. There we go. 
So we're back to the original popsicle shape. So it's super simple. It's a really fast craft if you don't have that much time. Um, so now we're gonna do the same thing we just did. Oh, I flipped you around on accident. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing we just did, but this time on the blue one. I have my tissue paper is sticking to my scissors with my glue. Okay, so I have my blue popsicle. This is kind of a skinnier one compared to my green one. And we're just gonna push the green one over to the side and let it dry. And then we will add the popsicle sticks at the end. So I'm just gonna take my glue and do a zigzag, a skinny zigzag all the way down just like we did before. And then I'm gonna take the cap and just smush it all around. So that way we have enough glue and it covers all the edges. Okay, so I have my glue all spread out. It's kind of hard to pick up. I have my glue all spread out and trying to decide what colors we should use. I kind of want to use all four colors and make this one striped. So I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up and do all of the colors all the way across. They might overlap a little bit since my squares are a little big, but you could always cut the tissue paper smaller to fit if you wanted. So. I'll show you here in a second what I mean. So I'm just making stripes and carrying it up the popsicle. See how this one, I'm just doing the same pattern all the way across. The blue is, the darker blue is harder to see on this um, blue paper, but it still works. So red and the dark blue, the orange, and if they overlap at all, that's totally okay. However you want to design your popsicle is perfect. There is no right or wrong to this project, which I really like. So I'm just taking my paper and just going up the popsicle. And some of them are overlapping, some of them aren't touching each other at all, so it really just depends what you want it to look like. I have lots and lots of tissue paper left over. Sometimes it sticks to your fingers. Orange, we need a light blue. Now we're getting to the top and it's a little skinnier, but I'm just gonna use skinnier pieces of um, tissue paper and then we can trim it off once we get done. So I'm just laying all this out, we're almost done. Perfect. Oh stuck to my finger okay so here is my popsicle we have not trimmed the edges so you can't really tell what shape it is yet it kind of just looks like a little blob of tissue paper but you can see when the tissue paper touches the glue that it kind of makes the colors come through when it dries it isn't as bad so this is the one I made yesterday and you can see like where it overlaps it gets a little bit darker and then it's lighter down here um, so it's really up to you how you want it to look. You could layer the tissue paper if you wanted or use less glue. So remember what we did last time? We have our shape to guide us on the back and I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim that excess tissue paper off so it lines up with the outline of our shape. So just trim this off kind of sticks to your scissors so make sure you clean them off really well when you're done so that the next time we go back to use them they aren't stuck together from the blue on the tissue paper all right 
So just like that, we now have a blue popsicle and a green popsicle, which you can tell, see how they're kind of like flimsy, they're falling over. Once the glue dries, it will straighten back up and harden. Um, but the glue kind of uh, makes the paper bendy. Okay, so I have all of my little scraps. They're stuck to my scissors. I don't wanna get that glue all over. Make sure you're really careful if you go to clean off your scissors. And I don't want these little pieces to stick to the table. So if you, I'm just gonna put it over here on my bigger scrap piece of paper. So I'll probably save these pieces of tissue paper for another craft. I still have like quite a few left down here. But now we're gonna move on to our final step of this craft. So I just grabbed some popsicle sticks at the dollar store. And all we're gonna do is glue them on to the back. So I have two popsicle sticks one for each, and we're just going to make a small line of glue right down the back. So just a straight line of glue right down the back in the middle of our popsicle, just like this. And then you just take your popsicle stick and set it on the glue. Since this is liquid glue, it tends to take a little bit longer to dry, and if you just, if you go like this, eventually the popsicle will fall off because it hasn't dried yet. So I like to just hold it for a second and let it dry and then not pick it up for a minute. So I'm gonna set this one um, down like this with the popsicle stick down so the weight of the paper will help it to stick together a little bit better. And we're gonna do the same thing with this one. So just a skinny strip of glue right down the middle and then we lay our popsicle stick and hold it for a second. See, I let go too soon and it's just a little bit slippery. So if you were using hot glue or something, it would work and dry faster, but since like normal school glue isn't a quick dry glue, it makes the popsicle stick a little bit wiggly. So see, I just have it glued on right here and we have our popsicles. So make sure if you create a popsicle that you post a picture in the comments. I would love to see it. It's a simple, easy craft for any age children and it doesn't take very much time either. So be sure to take a picture. Let us know if you made this. I'm so happy you decided to join me today and I'll see you next week. Bye everybody, thanks for watching.